hi everyone welcome to my channel so today in this video I'm going to show you how to make a nighty so this is the most wanted requested video in Tamil so that I just want to make the same in English also so this is a ready-made nighty fabric which is three meters so it's just available like this so if you want to make a customized nighty with a plain color you can just buy a three meters of fabric so um, the length of the fabric depends upon the height that you want so today I just took a three meters of the fabric which comes like this so now I have folded the fabric in lengthwise once like this and I'm going to fold that in a breadth wise so just lay the fabric flat like this and fold that in breadth wise like such so today in this video I'm going to show you a two methods of marking this nighty so if you find difficult in taking the measurements and marking the nighty I can use a second method that is I'm going to use the old nighty to take the measurements so that would be really useful so if you find very difficult in taking your own measurement and marking the nighty so once you have to uh, lay the fabric flat like this so now I'm going to start with the shoulders so I'm just going to take the folded edge and I'm going to start marking my shoulder so my full length of the shoulder is 8 inch and I'm going to keep my half length of the shoulder to be 5 inch okay so the rest of the 3 inch is going to be my neckline okay so for me I just want the shoulder to be wide most probably for if you're making the 90 make sure that the half shoulder should be more than 4 inch and the neckline should be minimum of 2 inch maximum of 3 inch so make sure that you reduce the neckline to 2 to 3 inch so you're going to uh, mark this according to your shoulder so for me 8 inch is divided like a 5 inch for the shoulder and 3 inch for the neckline okay so this is going to be like 5 inch and so now I'm going to uh, take the height of my armhole so the height of my armhole is actually like 8 inches and now I'm going to mark 9 inches. So 1 inch of a loose I'm going to give to my armhole. As is an IT it just needs a little bit of loose. So uh, just I'm going to curve that in like such. And now I'm going to mark the upper body. So basically my upper body falls under 10 inches. Okay so uh, but right now i'm going to mark till 12 inches i'm not going to take 10 inches perhaps i've been marking for 12 inches okay so that two inch is going to give a little bit loose in your 90 so if you don't want the 90 to be too loose you can just add one inch to your upper body so my upper body is uh, basically is 10 inch i have added two inch to that so uh, that's what I have reduced the neckline uh, length to be 3 inch so if you widen this to be 12 inch and if you widen the neckline to be 4 or 5 inch for sure it will look really odd so that I just given a 2 inch for that and now I'm just giving a mark to this okay from the top of the armhole you're going to just make a curve so this curve comes with a two inch all around that is from here i have just marked till down so that comes the waist and the hip area so all are getting that two inch of allowance so once you start marking from there you're going to curve that in till the end point that is till the end of the fabric like this okay so this is the hip line the hip line also got that two inch of elements So now I'm going to show you how to mark the same with your old nighty. So take your old nighty, take the front side of the nighty like this and fold it like such and make sure that the folded edge of the fabric matches the folded edge of your nighty and lay it flat like such and you can see just make sure that you just lay it like this and now you can see I don't find a uh, any different with the nighty that I took and the marking that I made so the nighty is fitting exactly that I marked and you can see that the armhole fits exactly to the marked point of my nighty so this how it should be so 
so this is going to be my armhole so first you're going to mark the armhole like this so exactly give a mark over this point and then you're going to go till the top of your armhole that is to the shoulder line and here you can see my shoulder is little bit small in my measurement 90 so it is just like a 3.5 to 4 inch but I just took 5 inch because I just want my shoulder to be a little bit wide so it's left up to you if you want the exact measurement of your 90 so you can just mark that okay so this is going to be the exact line where my sleeves and my bodice has been joined together so I'm just going to mark like such and also I'm going to mark my neckline so these are the three important measurements that you're going to mark when you use your nighty as the pattern so you're going to just draw a line exactly where the lower sleeves has been marked that is the armhole same like that you're going to join that from the top okay so that's the measurement marking and this is the pattern marking so just like that i'm just going to draw the line okay so i just want the slope to be a little bit wide that is of one inch and now i'm go just going to draw the armhole curve like such okay and just lay the 90 flat till the bottom and from the top you're going to mark the sides like this so you want the down part to be a little bit wide so that if you won't find any difficult while walking so that I just given a really wide down okay so now just I'm going to mark the same okay so that's going to be your width of the down part and here comes my hip and so I'm just marking the same like this okay and now I'm going to give a seam allowance of one inch from the top and I'm going to bring that till my bottom line see I'm just giving a one inch of seam allowance which is going to look like this and I'm just going to mark the depth of the neckline to be six inches okay and I'm going to make a U neckline so just like that the neckline is absolutely depends upon you uh, if you want you can make U neckline or square neckline it's absolutely depends upon you so this piece has two pieces that is a front and the back piece so may don't cut as like this because this has a back neckline also so which is a height of three inch so first you're going to finish off cutting the shoulders armhole and hip and waist after that you're going to cut the neckline out so most of them will make mistake that is they will just go ahead and cut the front and the back piece at one stretch so that's not going to work the front should be little bit deep and the back should be little bit high okay so now i'm just cutting the sides like this okay so nice and neat so just give a one inch of seam elements like such and this is my sleeves you're going to use the rest of the fabric which just came out of your nighty. you're going to use that as a sleeves so now I'm going to cut my neckline so before cutting the front neckline make sure you take the back neckline out which is very important most of them will make mistakes so just I showed you how to do this just take the front neckline out and you're going to cut the front like this and then I'll be taking this piece out and placing that on my back neckline and I'm going to cut the back okay so just like that I'm just cutting out my back neckline like this okay so this is going to be my sleeves I'm just going to mark my sleeves placing my sleeves on the folded edge of the fabric and I'm just taking my old nighty and I'm placing it on top make sure that the open side of the sleeves matches the open side of the fabric okay just lay it flat like this and this is my point where my sleeves and the bodice is joined together so at exactly at that point I'm going to mark it on my fabric and same like that to the down this is the point where my sleeves and the bodice is joined same like that just give a mark and you're going to join the line like such so that's going to be my circumference of my sleeves okay 
so after marking that from year to year i'm going to, going to draw a nice and neat curve like this okay so now here you have to keep in mind that the height of my armhole line i have just given one inch to that make sure that you give the same over here so if you are not adding that one or two inch that you have given for sure it's not going to fit okay so now this is the leftover of the fabric so i'm just not going to throw this away perhaps i'm going to attach this to my neckline so I'm just trimming out this extra fabric out and I'm going to save this to attach that to my neckline. So now all I'm doing is I'm just sewing all the pieces together to make it as a one single piece. Okay. So now we can see just gone as a one single piece like this. Again, I'm just turning the next piece. So this is my neckline so before I just did a U neckline but in my U neckline I can't add the straight piece so what I did is I just made a like a diamond neckline so to that I just can add this a straight piece so just I took a marginal amount of fabric in an angle and I just made a straight cut so that I can apply this straight piece to my neckline. So you're going to go with a U neckline means you have to make it with a cross piece. So um, now I just took the wrong side of the fabric and make sure that the uh, this piece wrong side should be facing up. And I'm just going to sew at the exact margin of the neckline. Make sure the places where you're getting the turn, make sure that you add some pleats to that. That's very important if you're not adding the pleats at the place of turns. For sure, you can't make the neckline. It's really tough. Okay. So now I'm just going to make a small pleats so that I just continue with the next side. Okay. So make sure that you leave enough fabric to turn the neckline like this. So this should be sewn on the wrong side of the fabric. So both the wrong sides should be facing up like such. And now again I'm just folding that. So make sure when you're folding make sure that the needle should be up. And now my neckline is done. So this is the pre side of the fabric so at the exact point of the turn i'm just going to make a slit a three slit to turn the neckline so now my piece is going to come in like this okay i'm going to flip that inside the fabric okay so now i just i'm going to add a basting stretch on the exact margin of the neckline so make sure that the pleats is placed firm enough to get that pointy tip. So now I'm going to sew that in a straight way like this. Okay. So like this I'm going to sew the entire neckline. So once it's done it's going to look like this so all i'll be doing is i'm going to attach this piece of zip to this so first i'm going to mark the place where the zip is going to come that is the height of the zip so just placing that in the center i'm just marking the height of the zip okay and now i'm going to cut into the fabric till the mark point make sure you may uh, put the zip in the exact center okay so now i just open the zip and i'm just folding the top part of the zip and attaching that at the bottom of that uh, fabric so now i'm going to sew at the exact margin like this just like that placing the zip underneath the fabric you're going to sew it don't worry of the raw edge we would be concealing the raw edge at the end so just like that place it and sew it very easy to attach the zip in your nighty it's very simple even beginners can also even try this kind of attaching the zip okay so just like that place it underneath and you're going to sew that together 
okay once it go half the way put the zip and you're going to sew like this and just give a turn and you're going to sew a little bit and you're going to go up again okay so now again I'm just folding the top part of the zip and I'm going to sew that straight like this okay so uh, now you can see my zip is being attached to the fabric so this is the raw side of the piece that we attached before so now I'm just folding that in I'm just sewing on top of that so when you fold this make sure that you have to be very precaution in the folded point of the neckline see this is the folding that we made while sewing so exactly when you get into the point lift your foot up and you're going to sew that like this okay and put some back stretch and you're going to be again on the starting point and you're going to sew all the way down till the zip so you're going to do that to the next side of the neckline also so now uh, my zip is ready you can see how pretty neat it is very simple very easy to make so now I'm going to attach a piece of fabric at the center so first let me mark the center point of this so just took a piece of fabric i'm folding a, a very little amount at the top and now i'm going to attach this on the exact margin of the zip like this okay so just fold it at the top and i'm just going to attach that at the center mark the center line and i'll be attaching that at the exact margin of the zip like this okay so i'm just placing it in a neat way and also I have sewn the down part of the piece okay. it is a three inch wide piece which is folded in half like this okay so now once it's done I'll be just closing the flap like this and you can see how pretty beautiful it is it just looks really beautiful just like that you have to fold very simple and very easy to make and also it just looks like exactly like a kurta neckline okay so very simple and easy to make so when you make a top stretch on top of the flap for sure it's going to sit on the exact place and no one knows that there is a zip underneath it just looks really simple okay you're going to put a stretch exactly like this and at the exact point you're going to turn it and you're going to sew that again okay so make it flat and neat and then you're going to sew that and you're going to go all the way up till the point where my zip is I'm going to sew till this my zip is there so I'm going to stop till exactly at this point okay now I'm going to turn the fabric to lock the stretch okay so till this my flap is going to end okay so now you can see this is my open side of my placket and now there is a zip underneath and you can close the zip and once it's done the zip is concealed in you can see how pretty enough it is very beautiful simple neckline it just looks really elegant okay so now I'm going to join the shoulders and I'll be joining my uh, sleeves to this so uh, let me show you how to join the shoulders and sleeves to finish off this nighty. So before joining the shoulder, I'm just going to uh, take this cross piece and finishing my back neckline. Just like that, I'm folding the cross piece in half and I'm just attaching the cross piece to the U neckline of the back part. So this is going to be the pre side of the fabric you're going to attach that to the pre side like such and make some notches once it's done so this is how it looks okay i'm just adding some notches and now i'm going to put a basting stretch on top of that before turning this fabric in that makes the work really neat so now i'll be turning that in so it's the exact method where the ready-made nighties usually have so uh, most probably our kurta and kurtis have these kind of neckline at the back okay so just like that it's finished 
so now I'm going to join the shoulders of the front piece and the back piece together and I'm going to put a straight stretch on the shoulder okay the shoulder length is absolutely depends upon you as much you can have the shoulder length okay so now I'm going to attach the sleeves so uh, to the pre side of the fabric take your sleeves and the midpoint of the sleeve should match the exact midpoint of your shoulder line and I'm going to match the exact raw edges like this okay so at the exact point where my sleeves end I'm going to start sewing this and you can see this is the point where my sleeves end so I'm going to start sewing exactly at this point and I'm going to put a straight stretch so make sure that you place the fabric that is the bodice fabric flat and you're going to turn only the sleeves like this according to the shape of the armhole you're going to uh, just uh, put the sleeves on top of the armhole it's that much simple okay now I'm just folding the down part of the sleeves so just like that I'm going to single fold that and I'm going to finish off the sleeves like this okay as with the salvaged edge I'm just going to fold that once so if you are unsalvaged edge you're going to double fold that so once it's been double fold I'm going to join both the sleeves like this and I'll be sewing that together to finish off the nighty see I'm just joining the sleeves together and this is the mark point where I have to sew so I'm going to start from there and I'm going to sew till the end make sure that the bottom side of your nighty should be double folded before finishing this step okay so just like that I'm joining the sides of the nighty like this okay so little by little you're going to sew the nighty like this and this is my down part and my nighty is ready so once it's done I'll be doing that same to the next side attaching the sleeves and joining the sides so this is my end result of the nighty and you can see how pretty beautiful it is the neckline came out really well and it just looks exactly same like a kurti kurta neckline it just looks really beautiful and the armhole and the bodice hip area everything depends upon you so uh, hope you like this and this is the neckline part and you can see the zip is like this so if you have a baby and if you're feeding the baby make sure you keep uh, the zip little bit lengthy so this is a short zip but if you're feeding a baby make sure that you keep a zip till this and make sure that you attach this placket more than the zip so that this placket is going to conceal your zip hope you like this video i think everyone have to try this style because this is very simple and really easy to make even as even beginners can easily try this style and if you like this video if you want more videos like this please do click on the subscriber button and don't forget to hit on a thumbs up button see you next time with a different kind of style take care bye bye